Okay, so back over at the house again. So, uh, yeah, last night I, well, not last night. It was kind of last night. But yesterday I uh, added sealer to this floor uh, all the way up to like the center of the living room. And it is pretty much dry, I think. Yeah, it probably needs to dry a little bit longer. But yeah, it uh, definitely looks a lot nicer. I think there was like um, some cracks right here in in this area that I was gonna show you guys again. But yeah, there's there's no cracks. It's uh, all smooth. So one thing I need to do is uh, is this still wet? I guess not. It just feels weird. So one thing I need to do is come here and look. Come here. Look at this. So yeah, I uh, pretty much sanded this area right here really well. And uh, it actually looks pretty good. So I need to do that to the whole floor. And see all these little, like, see that line right there? It's a sanding mark. I need to get that out. And I need to do that to the whole floor. So it doesn't look like there's too many of them. Uh, it looks like there's one right here. But yeah, that's pretty much what I need to do. I got the edger again. Oh man, you can see my, my feet tracks. So I did get rent the edger again. Or yeah, I rented the edger again. I got more sandpaper, so I'm going to try to get this done really quick because I don't want to have to rent it for eight more hours. Hopefully I could just rent it for four, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to get to work though so I can get this done and over with so I can start doing some more car stuff, but um, I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take. All right, so I just finished up edging the living room. I have uh, just the corners left to do. Uh, all the oak, oh, except for that closet, I need to still do the closet. Uh, I had to get two packs of sandpaper. I'm glad I did because I just burned through a pack of 10. Uh, I have two left. So I used eight sanding discs to do this whole like thing right there and then finish that up, which is, I don't know. I think oak is, I think a lot harder of a wood than pine. So hopefully for the uh, bedrooms and the hallway and the closets, it doesn't use so much sandpaper because it's a softer wood, but it might clog up the sandpaper because it's softer wood. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try it out. I'm just glad the all the oak is done because now I could. And one one issue I had, and I really can't get around it, is I had to put a, a screw right there. Hopefully it it gets covered up because this board was sitting up a little bit. Uh, if and if I pull it down any further, it like it continues to suck the board further down. So um, I guess I'll just it'll fill it in a little bit. It's down a little bit, but uh, I mean you'll still see that little shiny spot right there where the sandpaper hit it. So uh, that's unfortunate, but at least it's really close to an edge, so it really won't be that noticeable. And. Uh, I, I don't think I could have used a nail because it wouldn't have grabbed. So uh, I'm gonna go get something to drink really quick. I am glad that that's sealed. There is uh, quite a few things that I need to fix in it. Um, just just sanding marks is all, but I, uh, I might just use the edger to do it because, well, I'll have to run it again. So I'll hopefully be able to get everything done in four hours, so I have two more hours. So if I could get the bedrooms and the hallway and the closets done and uh, take it back, then I only rent it for an additional four hours on top of the eight that I already rent it for that I wasn't even able to use it for because I ran out of sandpaper. And then uh, once I'll, I'll then come back, seal the whole floor. I'll have to go to Lowe's and get another thing of poly, seal the whole uh, floor, the the bedrooms and the rest of the living room. Then 
let it dry. It's still kind of tacky. So uh, that was that was under 24 hours of dry time, but I'll let it dry for exactly a day and then I'll go rent the edger again and come back and hit all the spots that I can see that I don't like and then uh, hit those down with the edger uh, because it works really, really well. I uh, did a few spots in here. It, uh, as long as you keep it, uh, if, as long as you don't keep it in one spot, it doesn't dig a hole. So uh, that, that's a tip, don't, don't keep it in one spot because they dig holes because it's just like the tip is pretty much all that's riding on the wood and you're just kind of kind of shaving it. But uh, I did a few spots over here where there was uh, some, some issues in the, uh, with, from, the, from the belt sander and it took it out really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'll come, uh, you can see some of these belt sand marks going this way. I'll uh, do the same thing, but it's tacky. So, I mean, if I did it now, uh, it would just clog up sandpaper almost instantly. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, go get something to drink really quick. And uh, I did a spot in here with uh, the DA, but it like clogged up the, the sandpaper really quick. But I mean, this feels so smooth. That's uh, sanded with 120 grit. If the whole floor feels like this, it's gonna it's gonna feel amazing. So uh, yeah, what my plans are? Oh, here I did another spot right here, so you can kind of kind of see it. But I mean, it feels like a fresh paint job on a car almost. It's like that smooth. It's weird how like like 120 grit on a car, like on like primer feels like crap, but on a floor on wood, it feels like so like glassy. But I'm gonna go get something to drink, quit rambling, uh, and try to get this all, all finished. Well, at least all sealed by the end of the day. Uh, that's, my, that's my goal today, get it all sealed. And then, uh, then tomorrow will be like a free day, kinda, because I might, like a lady's supposed to be, uh, if she gets a loan, I think she's gonna buy the juke. So if she buys the juke, uh, I need to go up to, to sell it to her. So that'll, that'll work perfect if I can get all this sealed and, uh, and stuff. But it's, it's definitely a lot of, uh, of edging. Well, I mean, there's a lot on the oak. I haven't done the, any of the pine yet. I, I think it's pine, but I haven't done any of that yet. So hopefully that goes smoothly. And if it does, then I'll, uh, I'll be able to seal it all and uh, actually get the uh, floor one step closer to being complete and nice and, and done. I mean, just, just putting the, uh, the uh, sealer on makes, made it look a lot, like, I mean, the color of that wood is so much nicer than what it whatever was before. I don't know what stain they used on this wood, but it made it look so dark and so like nasty. So uh, this is gonna look really good, hopefully. Oh, I keep saying hopefully, I, I want it to look good. But I just need uh, to put a few more days of work into it, a few, uh, few more eight hour days, and I think uh, this this will look really good. Okay, I finished the hallway uh, and the in between the oak and the pine. I had to level it out because it's, uh, I don't know, it just didn't want to level with the floor sander. So, uh, well, it actually was level. I mean, it just, I just had to like take out all the sanding scratches. <coughs> you can see I still have to use the uh, mouse to edge right there but it looks a lot nicer. That actually looks like wood going into the bathroom. So, uh, and right around all the, the things I have to use the mouse to edge. So uh, I think for the hallway, I used two or three discs. I'm hoping for the rooms I use less. Uh, the only reason I used so many was, you can see right there on that one, it uh, 
there was like a coating still. Uh, you could kind of see it right, right there. There was still some uh, stain or whatever they put down and it always like clogged up paper really quick. So uh, the rooms, they are not uh, stained. They've never been stained. So I'm gonna come in here. Hopefully it goes a little bit quicker. I don't think it's going to, but I'm gonna start off with a spare bedroom and a spare bedroom closet because that's a lot smaller of a room. Uh, and then when I come in here, uh, hopefully that room only takes like three pieces of sandpaper and this takes four and then I won't run out. So, uh, and I, I think it's very possible because this, I'm hoping will be a lot easier to cut because there's no coating on there. So you can see that it's just dingy wood um, and it just needs to be, be uh, uh, sanded, flush. And right here on this transition, I'm gonna have to, that's where I screwed that piece of wood down. I'll edge that through like there, like back and forth, and I'll smooth it out. And then I still have to come in here and uh, do the closet as well. So I thought I was, I was like in between maybe being able to get it done with the, uh, the edger in four hours, but I'll probably have it for eight. Um, and then I'll probably come and uh, probably get these little spots right here with the edger. I don't think I'll have an issue. And uh, after that's all done, I can take the edger back and uh, seal the floor when I get back after I go to Lowe's and get a, uh, a thing of uh, poly so I can make the, uh, the slurry. So, I don't know, it's going decent. It's, it's taking some time. I mean, it seems like every, every little, it doesn't matter if it's a big room or a small room, it takes like an hour, so. Uh, so I only have, I mean, a closet probably won't take an hour, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So it's 1029, it's, eh, it took me like half an hour to do the hallway. So I'm, I'm planning on each room taking me an hour. So if, if, that, if I factor like in like breaks and stuff, that should be like maybe, maybe an hour and a half for each room. So that, that'd be like eight hours exactly. So I'm gonna get back to work so I can have, get this done because uh, I have to rent that tool. And uh, you know, I don't wanna have to rent it again because I rambled on too long. Okay, so I uh, need to go get another thing of sandpaper, uh, another pack. I, uh, I have like two sheets left and I just finished the spare bedroom. So it is etched. I could never get that stain out, so whatever. Uh, I'll just be part of the wood characteristics. I don't know how it'll look. Hopefully it looks all right. And uh, yeah, everything's edged. I need to kind of go around that uh, outlet and uh, with like a uh, piece of sandpaper. And uh, the only other thing in here that really is an issue, I edged the closet. It's all edged, but that stupid spot where I sprayed that damn automotive clear uh, is screwing me because I can't sand it. Like it just clogs up the paper. So I'm a, I might have to hand sand it or use the, the mouse or something to get that spot clean because it does not want to come out. So I'm gonna go run and get some more sandpaper. Okay, back, got another pack of, I think they're 10 in there of 80 grit. And now I'm gonna finish the bedroom, two closets and uh, I don't know, see what happens. With my house for today, I was going to seal the rest of the floors. Uh, the only issue is I'm gonna get the poly from my friend and he gets off at like three. So it's already too late to get that. I uh, am glad I'm done with the edger with uh, all the edging and everything. But uh, yeah, the came out really, I don't know, I guess nice. And all I need to do you can see that I need to fix that spot still, but that'll, uh, that'll be in a little bit. The hall's edged, the room is all the way edged, and uh, that closet's uh, all the way done. I, uh, I sanded that with the edger, looks really good. And I sanded this closet with the edger as well. So all I really need to do now is seal the floor, uh, do another uh, set of sanding and 
I, I'll probably, so what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm going to seal the floor, then I'm going to sand it with 80 grit again, then I'll seal it one more time, and then I'll sand it with 120, which at that point, the floor should be pretty much, uh, pretty much perfect. And then once that's done, I, uh, I could clear it. But I did a, a little test spot right here to see if the, the edger will work better at uh, getting some of these sanding scratches out, and it does. So um, once this actually cures, because you can see it just clogged up the, the paper really quick, uh, it's still kind of tacky. And uh, once it's all the way dry, it will um, cut a lot, nice, a lot nicer. So I could get all that stuff out and then I'll seal it again. It is actually like super smooth to the touch already after I sealed it. And you can see right there, there's a, where the, there was a seam and now it's perfectly smooth too. So coming together very well. I just need to put some more hours into it. Uh, there'll be a few more videos with this. Hopefully I can get it all done by, uh, I was thinking Wednesday, but probably by the end of the week. I won't actually be working on it the whole week uh, just because of like the whole downtime with the sealer has to dry for 24 hours. So when I put it down tomorrow, I'll have to wait a full 24 hours to actually do anything to it to be able to sand it. So there's that. And then once the, uh, once it's, once it's completely dry after that 24 hours, it will take me, uh, probably I'd say a good day or two to resand, but we'll, we'll see about that. It might go a little bit quicker. Uh, and then once that is done, uh, the 120 grit sanding shouldn't be very difficult. I have, I'm gonna use my big orbital sander and it's not gonna have to cut in. All it is is gonna do is uh, smooth everything out and then I'll tack it with a uh, cloth Put the clear down and it should be uh, nice. I'm gonna go over to the shop now and the juke needs some front rotors. So actually I need to go to get the juke first and then uh, get the rotors and then go to the shop and change them. Cause it uh, has a really harsh uh, shake when you hammer on the brakes. But I mean, it doesn't bother me, but whoever buys the car might be bothered by it. So. Might as well fix it, it's not that expensive. Okay, so I'm back home. I'm going to be doing the brakes on the Juke, the front brakes. They uh, definitely pulsate when you slam on the brakes. I mean, I feel like they're so warped that as I'm driving, it feels like the, the front tire's out of balance, but it's probably just the rotors. So I got a new set of uh, pads and rotors. I'm gonna do that really quick, because uh, supposedly he's showing this to some lady tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system.
All right, so I just finished the brakes on the Juke. Um, I was wondering why it had like a really crazy like pulsation uh, when I was driving. It was really bad when I was braking hard. Uh, it looks like the rotor's like, I don't know. They're all chattered and stuff. Look at that. I don't know what was going on right there, but uh, you can see the Minnesota rust from all the salt, but I have no clue what was happening right here. And the pads were pretty much done anyway, so it was a good thing to change the brakes. This pad looks not too bad. But uh, on the passenger side, there was like a, uh, it was like the same, had those same chatter marks. But uh, the inside pad was uh, pretty much seized uh, in the caliper. So uh, it could, seemed like you could press it probably more into the rotor. So that was the pad that was going against this crazy, like chattery thing. But it, it, like it could press it in more, but I had to beat it out with a, uh, with the end of a wrench. And then I put new slides in, I put new uh, rotors on and uh, lubed them up. So hopefully I don't have the same issue. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't have the same issue, but yeah, now I probably won't have that crazy like steering wheel shake because I just had the alignment done and uh, the tires are pretty, should be balanced. So uh, I'm gonna pretty much take it for a little test drive around the block and then uh, hopefully it just rides, rides like a Cadillac, nice and smooth. So uh, I don't know where that saying came because a lot of cars ride nice and smooth, Mercedes, like BMWs. So I don't know why it's smooth like a Cadillac, where that saying came from, but it's a saying. So. I'm gonna take this for a drive. Okay, so I just took the Juke for a drive and it doesn't do the crazy pulsation thing anymore. Um, when you're like coming up to a stoplight or something, not hitting the brakes, uh, the wheel would shake or you can feel it shaking. Oh, the brakes are all nice on it. If that lady messages me tomorrow, I uh, might have to say goodbye to the Juke. So we'll see what happens. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching, until tomorrow.